Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to rehearse your timings, in other words to record your presentation so that it plays automatically. Okay, so the way you do that, you do this at the very very end, after you've done your entire presentation and you're happy with it, with all your animations, with all your transitions, with all your audio clips, with all your video clips, with all your pictures and everything else you can imagine. Now you're ready to do the final edit on your presentation and for some reason uh, about 50% of the time you want your presentation to play automatically and not you you not having to be involved in the clicking and even maybe physically being there okay so a lot of presentations are meant to be just played on their own for people to observe passively okay so you go over to the slideshow ribbon and here you see we have a couple options here record narration rehearse timings use rehearse timings okay so here let's click on record narration here you would be able to actually record with your uh, microphone a, a narration going through your slideshow this is really cool if you can't physically be there and you want to uh, guide people through the slides and what they're seeing and make comments on the items you're presenting okay so you would just follow the steps forward here I don't have the audio uh, set up to, to be able to do this that would conflict with my uh, screen capture software so but it's not that difficult you would have to have a microphone of course and then you pretty much can hit OK and go through the process of going through the slideshow and recording what you want to say okay so I encourage you to try that out so what we're interested in in this video is actually the timings of the slides first okay that's actually more more uh, useful and more actually more popular so we're gonna click rehearse timings and what this is gonna do is it's gonna start up the presentation and when the presentation starts, there's going to be a little counter on, I believe, on one of the corners of the screen, which is telling me how long the current slide or object in the slide is going to be displayed for before the next item comes in. Okay? And I have full control of that by clicking the next button. And when I click the next button, it re uh, PowerPoint records the amount of time that each object appears in the slideshow. So let's actually see this. So I click rehearse timings. It's actually, unfortunately, it's starting me out on another screen, which is not good. So let's see if I can show presentation on monitor two. Let's see if that works. Yes. Okay. So this is the box I was telling you about as you can see the time is running six so it's saying right now this current piece of the presentation is be is going to play for 13 seconds now if I don't like this and I got com I got distracted I can hit repeat and it will start it from zero again now when I'm happy with the amount of time that this particular uh, part of the presentation is has played I can hit the arrow here which is next if I need to take a coffee break or a bathroom break I can hit pause here and uh, again repeat here if I want to start over so let's repeat from the uh, from zero and then actually start recording this so say repeat okay so I want this part of the presentation to show for five seconds at five I hit next now the next piece comes in. Now I want this to appear for another five seconds, so I hit next. Then this animation plays, that's fast enough. Then I the next slide appears, I'm happy with that. It's animation appears, and I'm happy with that. I hit next, the next slide starts blank, I hit next. The title comes in, and then I hit next. The first bullet put, put, uh, point comes in. I hit next. The third bullet, second po bullet point. Hit next. The third bullet point. Hit next. Fourth. Next. Fifth. 
I hit next again, six. This is all being recorded as I'm clicking. And I'm doing this ba more based on feeling. How much do I want this part of the presentation to uh, appear uh, when it automatically plays? So you can have some kind of general idea. You know, I'm happy enough with this. I'm ready to go to the next slide. I want people to be able to see this. I want to be able to uh, them to actually look at it for a little while. So I'm going to let this play a little bit so that people can just stare at this for a second. So you can go more on your gut with this. I, w I would actually recommend that, to go more on your gut. You just look at it, imagine you're the one watching the presentation and how much time would you actually want people to look at this. So I'm pretty happy with this. Let's bring in the title for this slide. Okay, they're looking at it still. The point's been made, I'm happy. This is my last slide, I hit next takes me to the end of the show and then I get this the total time for the slideshow was 1 minute 39 seconds do you want to keep the new slide timings to use when uh, when you view the slideshow in other words it's asking us are we happy with the recording that we did now if at this point we look at 139 and we say man that's way too short or way too long and I need to make some changes then we can click no and the recordings that we just did would not actually take effect but if we are happy and we went through the slideshow and we're happy with the total time being 139 then we just hit yes here and that got recorded into uh, the presentation and when we go over to the bottom right here into the slide sorter view it actually in addition to telling us the slide number which it always does in this view it also tells us how long each slide is going to play for okay so you see this last slide was played for a long time because of this table we wanted it to be able to uh, you know people to be able to absorb all the information on this table okay so now we also know that within each of these slides we had animations which we learned how to do in previous videos which you should check out and also transitions and also multiple objects multiple text boxes in this case an embedded Excel file which we learned how to create in a uh, in one of the PowerPoint videos embedding an Excel file. So we got a lot of components here and each of them was recorded individually and these times are the overall Excel I mean uh, slideshow times that's slide times that's how long that particular slide shows for okay so if now we're happy and we just want to do a little preview we can go over to the slideshow ribbon and say play from beginning and this time I assure you that I am not going to be clicking the mouse that this is going to be playing by itself and you can see for yourself what uh, how your recording will look from the audience's perspective so we hit from beginning and we just sit back and watch it play by itself Okay, you see this? This is playing all on its own here. That's the animation. Support, we're supported by our sponsors, of course, by our sponsors' ads. All these video tutorials are free. So please click on the ads of the sponsors when you watch these tutorial videos because that allows us to keep posting every week new tutorial videos for you to learn all this stuff. We really appreciate it. So these are the tutorial videos we do. And we're trying to expand into more subjects like Photoshop, Illustrator, and other Adobe programs. And that's what the end more is suggesting. And all this is being played automatically because we recorded it. Okay, so here's the table, and if you remember, we spent some time on this table. This table actually is an embedded Excel file, and we learned how to do that in the in the other in another PowerPoint tutorial video, which was uh, embedding Excel files in PowerPoint. 
this is actually a live Excel file that lives inside of PowerPoint. So you can actually double click on this uh, Excel uh, t this table and actually make changes as if you were in Excel. You can use functions, make charts, go to other worksheets, and so forth. And that's it. That was the end of the slideshow, and it played all on its own. I just sat back and yapped my mouth a little. Uh, so let's hit Escape. Let's go over to the normal view and basically just review for one second. So we went to slideshow and we went to rehearse timings and we recorded the timings for our presentation by hitting the next arrow when we were ready for the next item in the slideshow to appear. Until we were happy we hit, and when we were done with the presentation, if we were happy with our recordings, we hit yes. If we weren't, we hit no and we start over. Okay, so just to briefly summarize. Uh, so be sure to check out our other tutorial videos, uh, we got over a hundred tutorial videos on our YouTube channel We're in Excel, PowerPoint, Access, Math, Statistics, R, and other subjects. And subscribe. And like I said before, we're supported by our sponsors, ads. So if you if you click on the ads on this video, you're doing us a great favor and giving us the ability to continue to provide these tutorial videos to you. We greatly appreciate you watching. Have a great day.